How about Tookie? You and Tookie? I never personally, yes, you know I'm saying, had a one on one with Tookie. Matter of fact, I never, you know, but with Tookie, I had a shotgun shell with his name on it. I was the founder. I created Conan Parker in my mother's garage. I had a lot of, you know, lifting weights, and I was on sport. They started calling me Big Miz. Original Stutterbox, Eastside Five, who's Pablo Bishop, Mid City Gangsta Bloods. This is only the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I had broken down, you know, cutting nails and all kind of stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? And I always said if I had the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? I would let him have it, you know. But uh, I never had that opportunity, you know, because Tookie, he, 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 he's that guy, you know. And you, you're not going to never catch him by himself alone, you feel me? So that was out the window, you know. That wasn't, that wasn't happening. You know, Tucky was who he was, you know what I'm saying? Then later on, you know, I respect him as who he was, you feel me? Because, you know, if guys is your rivalry, you know, this and that, you know, when, when you see they push, one respect the real, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I had that respect level for him. I give him that. So let me let me ask you, because I, I don't, I don't want to too much dwell on this, because I don't know how long you're going to be on but what other guys' names run around that era when you talk about Tookie? Like, what other Crips' names was on your radar? I mean, shit, man. Oh, man. The majority of dudes I deal with, man, yeah, so I deal with the rest of dudes. You know, I know the, look, I know the Cutes. I know the Tookie, the Raymond Washington. I know Bam. I know Sugar Bear from Hoover. I know a Bulldog. I know Green Eyes. I know a a a a a a a, a Smiley. A a a a Baby Face from, from Neighborhood. <laughs> Baby Huey. You know what I'm saying? A a a a Big Mike from Neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? A a a a Pot, you know what I'm saying? Raymond Pot. You Pops. know, Raymond Pot. You know what I'm saying? There was a small crew in the area, but they used to give us the blues, though. I give it to the youngsters. You know what I'm saying? They stood strong, and they shot big guns. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, Raymond Pot's name, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and uh, yeah, man, you know, I don't know what the best of them. Right. You feel me? Right. You know, did, did did you have much activity? Uh, what is that? South of Florence, like in the eighties and the hundreds and the nineties. Uh, eighties. Only ones in the eighties was the A. K. Hoover's. Okay. Uh, uh, uh in the nineties, not too much in the nineties. But the A. K. Right. Hoover's, because you know we we was, the Brams were kind of branched out in different areas. I just like the homie Cool Breeze, he stayed right there on 106 off of Vermont and, and, and Butt Long. Now that's two blocks from where Tickingham used to work out on 104, him, Jamel, and all them. You know what I'm saying? At the gym right there, you know what I'm saying? Lifting weights and shit. You know, and matter of fact, at one time, Tookie also stayed on 106. I think his, him and his girl, what her name, Brenda or Beverly? Bonnie or... or Bonnie, uh, Bonnie. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. You know, and shit. We used to hang out over there, you feel me? Okay. You know. I, I, I'm, I'm going to just hit you with three names and I'm going to lead out along. 
How about uh, any run-ins with uh, Donald Archie, Melvin Hardy, or OD from Block? What the first name you say? Uh, Donald Archie out the eighties. No. Sweetback. Sweetback. No. Okay. No. No. Melvin That's Hardy it. from Eleven Trey Block. No. OD from Block. No. Okay. All right. So you guys basically stay basically on the west side in your area and a little east to the Hoovers, to maybe the 110 freeway? Right. We stayed that area, but when we branched out, we went somewhere. If it's a bend or something, we're going somewhere. If, if ever, you know what I'm saying, we ran to a crib, you know what I'm saying, that we're climbing crib, you know what I'm saying, we'd get with them. You know what I'm saying? But, but mainly, it was just in our area. Okay. Was you, you familiar me? with the Century Brims and Broadway Brims? Yes, uh, uh, the Alexanders and, and, and uh, the Broadway Brims, is, which is, was uh, Mad Dog now, Southern Mad Dog. You know, in, that so, Mad Dog, that twin. Okay, that's in the 50s. That's along, in the 50s. Along what major street? It's, Right there on Broadway, yes, you know I'm saying, uh, 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 about like 50, 52nd, maybe. Hold on, I want, I'm trying to be accurate, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say about, I'm gonna say about 50, 53rd, 50. Not 54, maybe, maybe, maybe about 52nd, you know what I'm saying, 53rd, somewhere around there. Okay. All right. Well, Matt, uh, Tookie said that Mad Dog, in Tookie's opinion, when he was a youngster, he, he thought Mad Dog was the leader of the Brims in that area right there that you just named. No, look, look. Mad Dog was, Mad Dog was a Brim, but Mad Dog also had an affiliation with the Crips because the incident happened one night. The homies went Crip hunting and went back there on Florence and, 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 and Broadway. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, I think what that is Jack in the Box. They seen Chili. They seen Chili now. And they got to the fighting with Chili them East Side Crips. Mad Dog. Fine on the homies when they fighting. So it, it, it was a big thing about that. So when they made it back to the neighborhood, right there on Gays of Vermont, the homies mauled mad dog and had him stretched out in the middle of Vermont, right there on Gays in Vermont. Because he was helping the Crips. And that's when the word came about, you know what I'm saying, that he was Brim and Crip. Mm. You know what I'm I saying? heard the same thing. He was Brim and Crip. You know, as a matter of fact, that night, some homies got arrested and went to jail from beating them down and leaving them in the middle of the street like that. Mm. You know? So that's why when I hear people speak on Mad Dog, I don't know why yes, said nobody never mentioned say, well, he was affiliated with the Crips or he was this and that. Maybe y'all was in the blind too, yes, you know I'm saying what, what was happening. But that was the word. Can you, can you, can you, can you take it to the top? Can you, can you, can you take it to the top of me?
Blame it on my mama.